when you use a container, all of that stuff is packaged with your code in the container. And that gives a lot of confidence. What is your base image that you have a multi gig container that you require to run a 10 megabyte code base? How big is Alpine Linux? Something like a hundred megabytes. Why do you need a base image that is more than a hundred megabytes if you're just going to be running code on it? So on the one hand, it's, it shouldn't be that big in the first place. Also, I, I should mention that Docker and associated container deployment tech, like it uses caching pretty heavily. So it's not even if you were to, to ship a gigabyte operating system, like that's really only living in your registry once you update this, the, the rest of it. Typically, this is a very good point. When you download a container, it has a built in elementary software bill of materials. Personally, I've had really good experiences with containerization. I was at a startup and I was having to do all the cloud admin in addition to a lot of other responsibilities as it's so prone to happen. And so that I use that as an opportunity to teach myself to be really rigorous about automation. I don't want to be SSHing into these servers. It's not, and there wasn't even that many of them. There was like dozens, there weren't hundreds, but I still didn't have time because uh, a lot of responsibilities. I tried to decouple my direct intervention from the process everywhere I could. 